Hey, hey everyone, and welcome in. It's Monkey Mar. Before we get into today's video, please make sure you click that subscribe button, the bell for notifications, and of course the like. And without further ado, let's get into part three of Briasia Terrell, the little 10 year old missing from Davenport, Iowa. I know, I know, this case is just really bothering me. So we've got a new article, which does not surprise me. Henry Earl Dinkins. So two days ago, the man Davenport police have named as a person of interest in the disappearance of 10-year-old Briasia Terrell is wanted in Illinois on meth trafficking charges. Why does that not shock me? Dinkins, 47, was held at the Scott County Jail in Iowa. Was held. Hmm. In Iowa on a sex offender registry violation charge and parole violation. He is also wanted in Bureau County, Illinois, on two counts of manufacturing and delivering more than two pounds of meth. WQAD reports Briasia was reported missing July 10th after going to spend the previous night at an apartment with her half-brother and his father, Henry Errol Dinkins. So five days later, an Amber Alert was issued prompting Terrell's family to ask why it took so long. So I looked a little deeper into the mama, Aisha Linkford, and I found something else that was um, a little disturbing. And my gut is just telling me that uh, something's just not right. All right, guys, let's... Um, get into her background a little more and that is the only reason why I decided to make this video all right let's go have a look all right so I went in and looked at the um where was he at what county all right let's start over it's too early and I just woke up but I wanted to finish this video and last night at 2 30 a.m. I was not going to pull it off so we've got inmate Henry Earl Dinkins still incarcerated Davenport Police Department booking date was 7 10 2020 at 9 14 he's in custody and we've got a cash only bond and twenty five thousand dollars open we've got a no bond a no bond permitted unbondable and we've got the charges on a sex offender provide false info second or sub a parole violation in the interstate detainer so the interstate detainer is the warrant out of Illinois and they will hold him or try to figure out where little Briasia Terrell is before they can even send him out to Illinois to face charges for making and trying to distribute two pounds of meth. So this guy really is a piece of work. And he's definitely lived a hard life. And there is his picture that was taken on July 10th, 2020. And he does not look happy. So let's pop over to the mother. I found a couple more criminal records on her that... Um, <sighs> I really wish they would come and do a press conference and let us know what they know so far on little Briasia Terrell because something is just off in my book okay before we get into a few more cases that I found Asia Nicole Langford 
let's just remember, and I'm not saying I think she's guilty or she had anything to do with the disappearance of her daughter, but I just think there's a little shade going on and a lot is being left out. So, we got one charge from court date was on 7-11-2019, just short a year ago. It was a misdemeanor, and it was an assault. And then we have another one that is driving while license denied or revoked. The court date was on September 22nd, 2016. Dismissed, and it was a misdemeanor. Then part of that prior charge was leaving the scene of an accident with an injury. Dismissed, it was a felony, and she left the scene of an accident injury. That's not a very nice person to leave an accident with an injured person. These people, I just do not understand it. And then we've got, which is operating while under the influence first offense. And that might be part of the prior two that I just read because there is no date on this one. But this is the one that stood out to me. She's got a child endangerment bodily injury. Guilty felony child endangerment bodily injury. I'm going to have to go back into that inmate search where I found Henry Earl's Earl Dinkin and see what else she has. All right, let's go to the next one. We've got neglect or abandonment of a dependent person. So this is all part of that September 22nd, 2016. It's a dismissed. It was a felony neglect or abandonment of a dependent person. And then we've got battery cause bodily harm. The court date was on October 28th, 2014. Withhold judgment, supervision, close date. Misdemeanor class A, battery cause bodily harm. And she was guilty. Then we've got theft third degree dash 1978 AGMS and she was guilty a misdemeanor theft third degree so now she leaves the scene of an accident she endangers somebody who is dependent on her she is driving while under the influence of something and I'm not sure but her ex-boyfriend is a meth maker and a meth dealer. You know, drugs really do make people do crazy effed up S-H beep T. And then we've got another theft third degree 1978 AGMS guilty misdemeanor theft third degree and this was a court date of January 16th 2013 so she's been at it for a while too and she was definitely a young mother so no excuse though where is your daughter Brie Asia Terrell what does Henry know and like I said I look at these with you guys I actually saw that she had some more charges and I saw the one about the endangerment of a child and so I actually stopped looking at the charges so it would be new. But look at this. Controlled a substance violation, F-E-L-D. Disposition not provided by source. It was felony on controlled substance violation. So now we've got her with drugs, leaving scenes, endangerment, leaving a scene with an injury and obviously she's not keeping her good eye on her children 
And then we've got this one, Department of Correction. So that to me tells me that she probably went and served a little bit of time. And we are going to see if we can find that after we finish going through her little record here. A second Department of Correction, Asia Nicole Langford. August 1991, she was born, and we know she's a female. And a third Department of Correction. So she's definitely done a little time behind bars. And what do we have here? So we've got the little inmate search for Asia and Nicole Langford. And this is it. So and here's her name. And then she's got a birthday coming up in like 26 days. I bet it would be nice to have your daughter home for your birthday. So the offense and the charges that she got were definitely through that September court date. But she had probation for a D felony, Scott County, 9-21-2018 was the end date. And then she had probation for a serious misdemeanor, Scott County, 9-21-2018 was the end date. And that is everything that I have found on the mom and the new information on Henry Earl Dinkins, but I did see something else that came out. Let me go and check that, and I will be right back. Okay, so I decided to look for some of Henry Earl Dinkins' offender information in the same place that I found Miss Lankford's, and here we've got Henry Earl Dinkins, and what a coincidence, today is his birthday. August 2nd in 1972 and then we've got operating while intoxicated click here if you are the victim of this offender and would like to register for notification of any changes to this offenders custody status and I'm gonna sign up for that and look at this man's record parole parole work release, work release, prison, prison, parole. I'm just going to scroll through them. I don't have the energy to read everything. What I should do is go look in Illinois and see if he has anything in there because this is just Iowa and he starts off in 1994 so he starts his little run at 19 years old and he doesn't miss a beat every single year he has done something all the way up into 2020. We can count down the years 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. Oh, we don't have a 10. He must have been in jail. And we don't have an 8. He must have been in jail. Or a one, or a 2002, 2003, or it's, yeah, he's got serious charges. I'm not even going to look into Illinois right now. I just wish that we could spread the word and somebody out there might know something about little Briasia Terrell and bring her home safe. The last article regarding Briasia Terrell was Friday the 31st they say marks three weeks since Briasia Terrell went missing the community though is still rallying behind her and doing everything they can to help bring her home it's just been unreal 
says Deborah Stevenson, who works at Davenport's Student Achievement and Engagement Specialist. Stevenson worked with Briasia Terrell when Terrell was in either first or second grade. It was already upsetting, but then when I realized she was part of my program, a program that I created, I mean, that just really hit hard with me. And that's why I went and did what I did, you know, for the family. It just turned into a community effort. She bought supplies for Briasia's family and the search efforts as a part of the Davenport School District. And then she goes on, since then, Stevenson says they've collected over a dozen cases of water bottles, Gatorade, with different kinds of snacks and hand sanitizers. She says, I just started getting phone calls and messages saying, you know how we can help? Is there anything we can do? And I mean, it was just the entire Quad Cities. Stevenson asked the public to continue donating, adding, no donation is too small. Now, I don't know why Briasia's mom is not there, but Stevenson shares she has kept in constant contact with Briasia's mom, who wants us to know her baby girl is so full of life and that the focus should always remain on Briasia. And she said that no one just disappears, no one just disappears into thin air. I mean, is it just me or is something just not right? I am going to attach this article in the description if you want to read it or finish reading it. But it just goes on to say that t-shirts and masks with Briasia on them are being sold $15 and $10 respectively. Stevenson says if you're interested in buying one, you can contact her at... 309-269-7372 309-269-7368 She and Brazier's mom believe the exposure may help get someone's attention. I think the one who knows everything is Henry Earl Dinkins. And then they're asking for some PPE for people, masks in particular, and if you want to donate you can drop them off at Davenport's Administration Building, 1702 North Main Street, next Tuesday morning and the rest of all week. So that's this Tuesday coming up. Family Resources is also offering counseling for parents need help starting this conversation with their kids. It's affecting everyone in the community. And they have a hotline, too, that you can call. And I'm going to put all of this in the description. And I'm going to attach a link to this article. And then Davenport Police say they are still actively investigating the case. If you have any information on Briasia's disappearance, they're not even saying her whereabouts or just her disappearance. Your urge to call the police, the Davenport Police Department. And then, of course, you can drop a tip at the fbi.org.gov.com. Let me do a double check. And with that, guys, it is a wrap. And let me end on this picture that I found from the mom. Aisha Aisha Lankford and this is her family picture and I'm not sure how many kids she has besides Briasia and Briasia's half-brother who is the son to this man right here Henry Earl Dinkins and these could probably be baby pictures of the brother and things like that but I don't like to speculate all right guys I want to thank you all for coming in Thank you for watching. Please like or dislike whichever you prefer and subscribe. Everyone stay safe from COVID-19 and stay vigilant and have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world. I am out.